This video is going to show you how to set up the Wipian VPN client for Windows XP. Theoretically, a VPN client will let you play network games over the internet just like you play them on a LAN. I think the author of this program is Croatian, and I suspect he may have wanted it pronounced Vipian instead of Wipian. Vipian, get it? VPN? Vipian? But since I made this video for my friends in the United States, if I pronounced Wipian Vipian, they'd get even more confused. So I'm just going to pronounce it Wipian. The first thing you need to do is download the Wipian client. The Wipian client is found at Wipian.com. You need to download the client and save it. You need to run the file that you saved and run through the Wipian setup. and when you get to the select additional tasks uh, screen there's three boxes uh, you need to make sure that only the last box put whip into XP firewall exceptions is checked uncheck all the other boxes if they're checked once you're done you don't need to view the release notes but you want to start whipping now Wipian uses uh, Jabber accounts to display contact and friend information. Jabber is uh, sort of an instant messaging type uh, client and uh, you can register for free with uh, Jabber server. If you have an existing account you can leave the I have existing Jabber account radio button checked and type in your Jabber ID and password. Otherwise you need to check the radio button I need new Jabber account and you can create a Jabber name and an ampersand, an at symbol, and uh, type in jabber.org if you're in the United States and the server will automatically be completed and then type a password. After you click on the test account button, if you're successful in creating the account or connecting to the account, it will give you a success window and you can proceed on. Now we can choose an icon uh, that shows up in the contact list for us. And click finish. This will bring up the Whippian contact list. We'll get a couple other pop-ups too. We can just skip through these. If you don't need the instant messaging thing, you can just download mini VPN as it uh, shows in the prompts. We'll skip the language files download as well. And then we're going to exit Whippian by clicking on the exit button in the lower right of the contact list. Now we need to go to the start button, my network places, and right click on that and click on properties and that will open network connections and you should have a Wipian connection you need to select that and right click on it and select properties then scroll down and select internet protocol TCP IP properties and you'll see that the IP address is filled in by Wipian already but we need to fill in the default gateway values so we're going to type in 5.0.0.1 and then we'll click on the advanced button on the lower right we want to uncheck the automatic metric and in the interface metric box we want to type 1500-1500 click OK OK close we can close the network connections window now we go back down to the start button and select the run option and in the space provided we're going to type CMD and enter and it'll open a command prompt window we're going to rebuild the Windows XP network routing table. So you need to type route space dash F enter. And when you hit enter, it will rebuild your routing tables in Windows. And since you're doing that, uh, if you're online, it probably will kick you off. Once that's done, you need to restart your computer. After the restart, we need to click on the start button again and I'm going to show you how to check your routing table you can also use this for debugging later so go to the start button run and type CMD command and open a command prompt again this time in the window we're going to type in route space print and enter we're now looking at the Windows networking routing table and it shows you all the active routes that uh, are available to the network and we just want to make sure that the 
5.0 routes are in there uh, properly. What we can tell is looking at the metrics as well. Uh, on the far right, there's several 1500s, and they're all 5.0 IPs. As long as those routes are available, you should be fine. But that's a way to check and make sure you did the other steps properly. Once we're done with that, we can exit back out. And now you can run Whippian by typing Start button and find your Whippian in the program listings and run Whippian. And now the Whippian is going to open the contact list and it'll connect to the Jabber ID that you've got uh, established. And you may get a couple of extra windows here. Next thing you want to do is add some contacts, your friends, to the contact list. So you click on the green plus sign, add remove contacts, and you need your friend's Jabber ID, your complete uh, Jabber ID for your friends, and you're going to type that in in this space. And then you click add contact. What this is going to do is send a message to your friend, and he'll get a message window, and once he accepts your message window, you'll also get a message window. It says authorization request and it wants to know if you want to allow your friend to add you to his contact list so you want to click on yes and he's also going to click on yes and this will add uh, you to each other's list you'll also notice that when your friends connect it'll give you a pop-up notification and now if you click on the general area and expand it out you can see that your friends online and if he's connected, his IP will show in black. If he's not connected, the IP will show in blue. Here's an example of the uh, a contact that's not connected. His IP is blue, which means he's offline. And as you can see, if you hover over his contact ID, it'll say VPN not established yet. If you want to look at some extra information, uh, you can hover over the other friends in your list and uh, you can right click on those and there's a couple other options as well that you could use for debugging such as the pinging person. In this case, uh, it's not really working even though we're connected, but that is one way to check your connections. Once your friends are online and their IPs are showing black, you should be able to just start your applications that you want to run over the network and it should work fine, so good luck. When you're finished, you want to make sure you do exit out of the VPN client by using the exit button in the lower right of the contact list.